first and foremost, we're talking about hip mobility and the ability to use a squat to maintain and increase mobility. So if I go hands overhead, you can see my squat, not that great, okay? So now I'm gonna use a technique that we like, which is putting a band under the sit bone, get into that same squat position, and now when I go overhead, you can see immediately I can get in a better position. I can also hold on to the band and work on getting into that depth. I can shift my hips forward and back, and then I'm working on getting mobility here or keeping my lumbar spine in a good position. So if you don't have a band, you can order one on roguefitness.com or Amazon's fine. But for now, if you don't have one, you're gonna take a counterbalance weight and I'm gonna go through that same position and now just by putting the weight out in front or holding it here, I can get good depth into that position. So I'm working on... My legs, my quad, and all day And now I can really get deep Daddy, here. Come, sit, I, come squat with me. I knew, can you I, squat? No, Daddy, I, I might, might... Show me your squat. Mommy. Show me your squat. Sit. Yeah, see how good that is? So honestly, we want the ability to squat as good as a three-year-old. It's not three yet, but close. So use a counterbalance or use that band under our sit bone. That's gonna help us get into that deep squat. The goal would be to build up our tolerance. So 10 seconds, 15 seconds, all the way up to 10 minutes, believe it or not. If we can get 10 minutes of squatting, you're gonna have all the mobility and the strength you need. 